Hi all, welcome back to our new chapter. Today we are going to discuss chapter 4, Tick, Tick, Tick. Today we are going to deal with introduction of clock, telling time to the next hour, write the time in two ways and use AM and PM. This is the clock, okay? Every clock has two main hands. So the longer hand is called minute hand. What is that longer hand? It's a minute hand. That means this is the minute hand. Okay? This is the minute hand. Minute hand. And the shorter hand is called hour hand. Hour hand. So in this clock, which one is that hour hand? That means this four is that hour hand. You can write here hour hand. Clear? Every clock has two hands. So first one is the long hand. So longer hand we can say that that is minute hand. The longer hand is called the minute hand, the shorter hand is called hour hand. Okay. There are 12 big division marked on the face of the clock such that what are the big divisions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc, etc, 12. That are the big division are marked on the face of the clock. Clear? Okay. Then each big division has five small divisions so in between 12 to 1 there are small five divisions thus there are 60 small division on the face of the clock that means in between 5 to 6 there are 1 2 3 4 5 small divisions are there so totally on a clock 60 small divisions okay how many small divisions 60 small divisions on total. Okay. Each big division divisions has 5 small divisions. Each big division that means 12 to 1. How many small divisions are there? 5 small divisions. Here. Then our hand and mini hand. Okay. So what is our hand? And our hand takes 1 hour to move from one big division to the next big division. How many hours need to move one big division to the next big division? That is one hour. One hour to move from one big division to next big division. This and our hand takes 12 hours to complete one round. 12 hours to complete one round. Only one round. In a day, it's 24 hours there. Right? So, how many rounds need to complete one day? That is 2 rounds. Or twice a day, they should rotate. Okay? 12 hours to complete one round. So, 2 rounds need to complete one day. Clear? Okay. Then, next is minute hand. What is minute hand? That means a longer hand is a minute hand. So, we can look at that word. A minute hand takes 1 minute to move from one smaller division to the next smaller division also it takes five minutes to move from one big division because each big division having small five division so how many five minutes to move from one big division to the next big division okay since there are 60 small division a minute hand takes 60 minutes to complete one round okay after that we can conclude a day is equal to 24 hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Then one minute is equal to 60 seconds. This is very important. Okay. This is very important. Then time is always written with two dots separating the hours and minute okay that means 
in this clock the time is showing the smaller hand what is the smaller hand that is hour hand this is the bigger hand that is minute hand longer hand okay so our hand is on 3 and the longer hand is that means the minute hand is on 6 we can say the time is 3:30 so this this dot this dot is showing to separate hour and minute clear so we can say this half past 3 o'clock okay half past 3 o'clock telling time to the next hour when the minute hand that means a longer hand the minute hand is on right side right hand side of the clock we write the number of the minute past the hour hmm? past the hour that means the look at this clock when the minute hand that means a longer hand longer hand is on this side 12 to 6 uh, after the 12 to after 6 Ah, uh, before six only. Ah, uh, we can say that minute passed. Okay, look at this statement. When the minute hand is on the right hand side of the clock, right hand side of the clock, we write the number of the minute past the hour. Past the hour. Clear? That when minute hand is on the left. side of the clock we write the number of minute to the next hour we can say when the minute hand is on the left hand side of the clock we can say it's 25 to next hour here we can use past and the left when the minute hand is on the left hand side we can use to to the next hour clear okay write the time in two ways you can write this time in two ways here the hour hand that means the smaller hand the smaller hand is between 1 and 2 it's just crossed the 1 hour it's not reached 2 right so the hour we can say it's 1 then it's the minute hand is on 5 how many minutes is passed Twelve to one, we can say five minutes. Then again, it's five. That means ten minutes. Then fifty. Then twenty. And here we can say it's twenty-five minutes past. Right? That longer hand is on the right-hand side on the clock. We can say it's past. So the time is one twenty-five. So another way how we can say twenty-five minutes past. Minutes past. What's that? How a one o'clock. One o'clock. Clear. So here the hour hand is in between one and two. That means just cross one hour. It's not reached two o'clock. The longer hand, the minute hand is on five. That means twelve to one. That means five minutes. Then one to two again five minutes. That means ten minutes pass here. Then fifty minutes pass. Then twenty here. Twenty five minutes pass. One o'clock. This is fast. Okay. Okay. Can move the next question. So next question. So how we can write this answer? B two one. The hour hand is between eleven and twelve. That means eleven. The hour of eleven is finished. They are moving to next hour because that longer hand is on the left hand side. So we can say two next hour, right? It's the time on this clock, eleven ten. Eleven, not eleven ten. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. Five ten. Fifteen twenty twenty five. Then thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So the minute hand is on ten. We can say that is fifty minutes past. Then we can say the past. That means on the left hand, uh, right hand side. Here, another way we can say that longer hand is on ten. We can say ten minutes to 
10 minutes to 12 o'clock 12 o'clock 10 minutes to 12 o'clock to next hour that means to 12 o'clock clear okay then we can do the last question other question you can do as a homework C C D and E you can do as a homework then we can do the last one the time is the long uh, the shorter hand is between 4 and 5 that means just cross 4 it's not reached to 5 however so the time is 4 then here 30 here 35 so 4 35 or another way we can how we can say that we can count 5 10 15 20 and 25 so 25 minutes to minutes to because the longer hand is on the left hand side so we can use 2 to 5 o'clock clear so other c d and e you can do as a homework clear you can move to the next one that is use am and pm okay use am and pm am when we can use am for the time after 12 midnight to before 12 noon so when we can use am after midnight 12 before 12 noon okay we can use am then pm when we can use pm for the time after 12 noon before midnight 12 so pm for the time after 12 noon and before 12 midnight okay so am what is the full form for the am so anti meridian okay am stands for anti meridian and pm stands for post meridian post meridian okay so when we can use am after 12 midnight and before 12 noon then pm after 12 noon that means there is one bell for uh, before we are eating the lunch there is 12 till that to before the midnight we can use pm okay what is stands for am am stands for anti meridian and pm stands for post meridian clear okay so next question what is the time use am and pm okay one hour before 11 5 am 11 5 am one hour before that means 10 5 it's again am okay. that means it's correct because 10 5 am because when we can use am 12 midnight before 12 noon when we can say here pm it's 11 59 till the we can use am okay so 11 5 am before that means before one hour it's 10 5 am then one hour after 11 30 am 11 30 am 11 30 after one hour it's 12 30 12 30 means before means after noon only so we can say 12 30 pm okay then three hours three hours before three hours before 2 40 am before 2 40 am so the time is 2 40 am now that means the uh, 2.40 a.m. That means midnight. Midnight 2.40 a.m. So before 3 hour. Means 1 hour before. 1 hour before. That means 1.40 a.m. Right. Then 2 hour before. That is 12.40 a.m. Then 11.40 
it's am or pm 11:40 it's a it's not reached the midnight right so this is pm 11:40 pm then after 20 minutes only reaching 12 o'clock that means night midnight 12 o'clock that means am time then 12:40 am then 1:40 am then 2:40 am so 3 hours before 2:40 means 11:40 pm okay so the next you can do uh, this our homework till here okay we can do it we can discuss on that class time then uh, this is the next one a uh, next method 2 hours 40 minutes after 150 pm okay 2 hours 2 hours 40 minutes after minutes after what's the time is given the question time is 11:50 11:50 pm okay 11:50 pm here 40 minute is there here 50 minute is there okay 50 how much minutes to compare 60 minutes how much minutes need to reach 60 minutes i mean 10 minutes we can add the 10 minutes here 50 plus 10 minutes here balance is now its balance is 30 minutes left okay now the time is here 12 okay 12 hours then here 2 hours is there and 3 mi uh, minute is there 30 minutes not 3 minutes 30 minutes so 12 after 12 1 2 1 to 2 hours and 30 minutes is answer okay the question is once again i will explain that the time is 1:50 pm right 1:50 pm okay we need to know about after the 2 hours 2 hours 40 minutes what is the time okay so 11:50 pm this is a midnight hmm? so after the 2 2 hours what is the time 2 hours so 1 hour 2:50 am okay then after the 1 hour 1:50 am 1:50 am hmm? then 40 minutes is there plus 40 minutes plus 40 minute means Here one hour is there, then fifty plus sixty, so fifty plus ten is sixty minutes. That means one hour. So two o'clock. Then after here reducing the ten minutes, how much minute is left? That means thirty. So two thirty a.m. is the answer. Okay, two thirty a.m. is the answer. Two thirty a.m. Here, so you can do this one and this one. Ah, this one as a whole. Here, so we can discuss other answers on the class day. Take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.